Now to a State House exclusive. News 8 State House Bureau Chief David Williams caught up with embattled Attorney General Curtis Hill in Franklin. Four women have accused Hill of inappropriately touching them, and state leaders have called on him to resign. David joins us now live from the Indiana State House with what the AG had to say. David. This is a story you will see only on News 8. I caught up just a few hours ago with Attorney General Curtis Hill at his office's drug take back event. There were no other cameras around when I asked him point blank about the allegations swirling around him. Are you General, going to resign the allegations? Speak no, to no, we're not going to. No, no, no. no. We're, we're here to talk about no. our, our program today. All those things are being handled. But okay. anything you want to say at all about the allegations? No, sir. No. Are right. you going to resign? No, 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 no. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Thank you. Anything you want to say? No, 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 no. We're here to talk about our drug, our, our drug program. I appreciate that. But thanks for coming out. Sure. He said he is not going to resign. Hill is accused of inappropriately touching four women at a bar in Indianapolis during a March 15th legislative end of session party. In recent weeks, three of the four women have come forward publicly. Democratic State Rep Mara Candelaria Reardon, Senate Democrat spokeswoman Gabrielle McElmore, and Nikki De Silva, who works for the Senate Republican Caucus. Hill has repeatedly denied the allegations against him, calling them, quote, false and vicious and demanding due process. But late last week, Hill's lawyers filed court documents calling into question the authority of the inspector general to investigate the claims. According to those court documents, Hill claims the appointment of a special prosecutor is premature because criminal allegations have not been filed with law enforcement. Hill has rebuked calls from both parties for his resignation, including from Governor Eric Holcomb. I asked Governor Holcomb about the newest developments today. Some lawmakers, including Rep. Delaney, are calling for the legislature to start talking about impeachment of Curtis Hill. Your thoughts on that? My thoughts are it's with the inspector general, and that's the appropriate place. She'll get assistance from a special prosecutor, but I'll have no further comment on this. She's going to conduct an independent uh, review of this, and it will be fair, and it will be full, and then we'll all see where to go next. You can read the full timeline of events in this case as well as statements from everyone involved for yourself. Just go to wishtv.com and click on this story right now. I'm David Williams, live at the State House tonight, Wish TV News 8. All right, David, keep us posted. Thank you. To